Oh, hello there. Today, we are going to introduce a new accessory and app for Dash that will teach you how to code your robot to play songs on the xylophone. This app is called Xylo and it is created by Wonder Workshop. After you launch the app, the first step is to make sure that your Dash is connected to your device, whether it's your iPod or tablet. I named this robot Harry. Our next step is to attach the xylophone to Dash's body. The app gives you this picture and directions on how to install the xylophone and mallet. Before we start building a song, we need to calibrate Dash to the xylophone. To start the calibration, you want to click the icon that is three horizontal lines in the bottom left corner. Then click the Setup and Calibrate button. It will first ask you to move Dash's head and mallet to be right above the first red key. Tap Test to make sure that the mallet hits the red key clearly. Once it's lined up perfectly, the second step will have you move Dash's head and mallet to key 5, the light blue key. Hit test again to make sure that he is aligned correctly. Then the app tells you to move the mallet to the eighth and final purple key. Hit test just one more time and you will be ready to start making your song. I asked our music teacher, the incredible and amazing Mrs. Poutre, for some help because she is the music expert at Brat Primary. She began by clicking the button labeled My First Song on the bottom of the screen and saw all of the songs that are preloaded already on the app. Mrs. Poutre wanted to challenge herself and try to create the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star all on her own. She tapped the empty song icon and typed in her song's name. Then she tapped the arrow on the right side and began to code. Xylo gives you a blank board that shows all eight notes. Each stanza is set in eighth beats and you can tell Dash to hit a note on a particular beat by tapping the colored key. When you tap the screen, a gray circle appears as the note. This is the note that Dash will hit as the large white bar moves across the screen. If you want to remove a note, just tap the circle a second time and it will disappear. To continue building your song and move on to the next stanza, you just click on the white box with the blue plus sign to the right. This will give you another blank slate to enter more notes. When you have finished writing or coding your song, tap the yellow background to go back to see your entire song. There are two additional icons below every stanza. The number on the bottom right is how many times Dash will play that stanza before moving on to the next one. The bottom left is the action or movement that Dash will do as he plays the song. By tapping this button, you can choose to have Dot move forward, back, turn left, or turn right. So without further ado, here is Mrs. Poutre's song. Now that you know how to code your own songs, I can't wait to see and hear all the sweet tunes that you are going to create. Don't forget to work hard and play hard.